Hi everyone, this is Sean here from the Scottish Fisheries Coordination Centre. Today I'm going to provide a brief tutorial on microscope photography for uh, photographing fish scales. So there's perhaps three potential reasons why you might want to photograph fish scales. Uh, the first of these being for communication purposes. So once you've got a scale image you can email it around, you can share it with colleagues to collaborate on the reading that you've made. Secondly, you might want to use images to archive your scale collection. So rather than have it, uh, rather than archive using the actual scales, you could um, save the scales as photographs. And the third potential use is uh, once you have the equipment connected up, which I'll show you in a second, you can then project onto a computer screen or onto a projector, and you can actually use this for training purposes um, like which the SFCC have been doing recently. So you need four pieces of equipment to do this. You need a microscope, a digital SLR camera, a lens adapter and a computer. So firstly the microscope. You can either use a project Tina like this one with a standard 23mm or 30mm photo tube. You can also use a uh, trinocular microscope like, like a lot of the trust biologists use uh, which has uh, a photo tube coming up. And then you need a digital SLR camera. This is a Canon camera, um, quite an entry level camera. You can also use Nikon or Sony. And in order to attach it to the microscope you need to use a lens adapter like this one. So this is, uh, it costs about £100 um, if you buy it online and it basically connects to the camera and then into the top of the photo tube like this and then there's a USB wire which connects the camera to the computer so that you can basically view uh, your scale live on the computer so in terms of software there's two pieces of software that you need. Uh, I'll put further details of these on the SFCC website, but you need uh, Canon EOS Utility or the equivalent for Nikon or Sony if you are using those cameras and you also need Photoshop Elements or any any form of Photoshop software and there's also freely available software um, which I'll put links to on the SFCC website. Okay, so here we are in the computer screen and I'm going to walk you through photography of one salmon scale as an example. So this works in PC or Mac, there's a Mac here and first thing you do is go into your EOS utility if you're using Canon. And what this does is basically connects your computer directly to the camera. So click on remote shooting and then click down here on live view shoot. And what this does is it basically brings up a live image of your salmon scale. Go down to the bottom left and click this little dot here and that brings up a control panel to let you control your camera. So basic settings you need, I would go for 100th of a second, ISO 100 and shoot in black and white. That's basically the three settings you need. Okay, so the method we've found that works best is to take multiple pictures of the same scale and put them together uh, which I'll show you in a second to create one image of the scale. That, that basically gets around the problem of uh, getting the whole scale in focus. Okay, so we'll start in the, the bottom right corner and make sure it's make sure it's perfectly focused and then take your picture. One picture taken. And what I've actually already done is I've, I've told the camera to take all the pictures into one folder I've called Salmon Scale on my desktop. That's done by clicking this, this option here, and clicking desktop, salmon scale, OK. OK, Okay. so now we're ready to move the scale along. So move to the middle of the scale now. Don't worry about getting it exact. Make sure that the juvenile part of the salmon scale is in, in as, as good focus as you can get it. Take another picture. And move across here. Okay, now we want the outer part of the scale to be in focus. Take another picture. And let's start moving up. About here. A little bit further.
Okay, that's in focus. And we'll move up to the top of the scale. Try and get the outer parts of the scale in a bit better focus. Take another picture. And move round the scale. You don't have to get this exact because uh, Photoshop will put them all together afterwards. And then we'll just take one more in this corner. That's that done. And that's you done your photography. So now just close EOS Utility down like this. And open up Photoshop Elements. Okay, so once you're in Photoshop Elements, uh, you, this is Photoshop Elements 6, you can use uh, 4 or you can use the latest one. Uh, it's about £40 to buy this uh, on the internet. So go up here and go File, New, Photo Merge, Panorama. Leave it at Automatic and then click Browse. And here if you go into your desktop and go to salmon scale, there's all the pictures you've just taken, so highlight them all, open, OK. And what the computer is going to try and do is it's going to try and blend them all together uh, and make one, one picture of the scale, so we'll just give that a minute to do that there. OK. So you can see now that Photoshop has kindly put together all these different pictures for us uh, and it's actually picked, for the most part, the parts of the scale that are in focus. So just, uh, just zoom in and just check that enough of your scale is in focus. We've got part of the juvenile stage in focus. Here's good focus. Just check that it's roughly in focus and then go over here and, and anywhere in here right click merge layers. What it's done is it's just made one image. So next thing to do, you want to just enhance the photo a little bit before we're finished. Click Enhance Auto Levels. That just brightens the picture up a bit and then go Enhance Unsharp Mask. I usually go for about 50% a radius of about 10 pixels. Don't worry about threshold. If you click Preview you'll see the improvement uh, of the scale and click OK. And the final thing you need to do is crop the picture. Just go for the edge of the scales and click return. And then you can just save your picture as a JPEG. Let's call it salmon on the desktop and save. Okay, and that's you finished one salmon scale. Just a quick thanks to the Tweed Foundation for providing their scale collection uh, for developing this technique. And uh, if you'd like to know anything more, please get in touch with me via the SFCC website. And I'll hopefully post some information uh, up on there about this uh, method as well.